Welcome to DWB Ayadda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello friends. In this video, we are going to learn linear regression in Power BI. As you can see, we have marketing expense on the x-axis and we have revenue on the y-axis. So let me show you the line of best fit on a trend line. So this is the line of best fit or the line of regression. Now we want to mathematically compute if we want to go ahead from here and let's say I want to spend 8k or 10k or 12k on marketing. I want to see what 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 would be my predicted revenue. All right, so let's jump into the data view and create the and let's see how we have created the calculated columns and measures. So we already had this data that is marketing expense revenue date. We have created xy which is nothing but marketing expense uh, marketing expense multiplied by revenue x square which is marketing expense square and y square which is revenue square and we also have certain measures so n is nothing but the count of rows that we have in this data set and re rest all these sum measures are sum of marketing expense revenue xy x square and y square now here's the important part which is intercept so this is the expression that we have the uh, expression or the formula for linear regression is y is equal to mx plus b so b represents the intercept or the point at which the line of regression intersects the y-axis so this is how it is mathematically calculated you can look up the formula if you want to this has been written over here the formula with the help of measures and similarly we have calculation for m which is the slope of the line of regression so you can also look up the formula for this so it has been again written with the help of measures all right so this is pretty much all that we require to create the futuristic values or the predicted values so we'll head over to report and create a new parameter that will give us the further marketing expense or we will have a range at an interval of let's say we'll create an interval of 100 dollars and we'll see how much revenue we'll be generating additionally with an with an increase in uh, marketing expense so we'll go to modeling new parameter let's call it marketing expense Should be whole number minimum value zero maximum twenty thousand at an increment of one hundred. Check this box. Click OK. Now we have our slicer. Next, we need to create another measure for the predicted revenue. We call it predicted revenue and the formula would be which is slow multiplied by the parameter that we just created marketing expense plus the intercept Now let's round this off to zero decimal places and let's create a card. We'll drag and drop it here. Change the format and the data label to none. Now, when we increase the marketing expense, so this value will automatically increase. Now, we, when we go beyond the values that we already had in the table, which is going beyond let's say seven and a half grand so nine thousand two hundred dollars spent on marketing will give me a predicted revenue of roughly seventy three thousand dollars thanks for watching this video